It's, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard Cacophony. Used to be Cacophony, now they're out in the wilderness. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Uh, we appreciate you coming by. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, if you're a returning guest, thank you. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube account. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D with us, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, like phone cases or shirts or whatever, duvet covers, uh, oh. bathroom mats, stuff like that. Uh, the link Good is night. somewhere around there. Uh, we'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice for dice that can sometimes really hurt the players. And of course, oddfishgames.com if your game stinks. Try a little adventure sense. Get that game smelling much better. They also make the shine system if you want to learn how to write. And uh, cooking with dice. And Kyle is a huge fanatic for that uh all of those things can be found at oddfishgames.com uh, as i pointed out earlier this is the cacophony group uh and we will get to a recap here in just a few minutes long story short they're trying to find the tower of the curd and the lost emu clan land uh let's introduce you to the cast as always starting uh with the youngest first caitlin caitlin who are you and who do you play <laughs> i'm caitlin I play Daphne the Tiefling, Paladin, which now is going to be crazy switching back and forth between a Tiefling and Nazimar. <laughs> Just remember you're a Tiefling when you're playing in the good campaign. Oh. <laughs> but it's nice. not a campaign. That's right. The soap opera. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up is David. David, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Hi, I'm David. Uh, I will be playing Zadar. Uh, Zadar is a changeling arcane trickster. Uh, gender fluid, just, yeah, non-binary. Whatever he's, he or she is feeling in the moment changes into that. So currently, uh, she looks like uh, one of the Telosians. Oh, I think that's where we left, we left off, right? So yeah. I thought she looked like Gina Carrera. No. You got that no. name wrong, so good thing you did. <laughs> I never get her name right. Uh, last but certainly not least, normally behind the camera. Tonight she is in front and behind the camera. Uh, Carrie, our producer. Carrie, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. I'm Carrie. I sometimes make dice, although it's been a while since I made any. Um, I play Camille, a wizard necromancer who likes cheese and coffee and it's been in really short yeah. demand lately, so she's kind of unhappy about that. Where the coffee crew? I forgot about that. Yeah, you guys need to go back to civilized lands. Uh, <laughs> folks, these guys are not in civilized lands. They are in what could best be described as the American West Plains. These guys are in the land of the Telosians, uh, a tribal group, a tribal collective. Uh, and their benefactor, aka the individual who hired them, Hepta the Seductive, uh, wants to claim the throne of all the people of Telosia. However, according to ancient custom, ancient Chinese secrets, secrets, she must communicate with the Emu people, which are Wemix, aka uh, uh, lion slash centaurs. Uh, <laughs> There's a little flavor to it. Uh, they have come across the Emu people. They have uh, met the current clan chief of the Emus and his daughter. His daughter is Tigris, and she is accompanying the party through the weaving canyons of the ruined land of the Emu people, attempting to find the Mesa. In last week's, or I'm sorry, in two weeks ago, scenario. Uh, they had a river crossing that Camille did not fare well in as the water weird that resided in the green waters kicked the shit out of her. We rejoin the group now as they have ventured to the other side a little bit skittish uh, as what their future holds. Uh, Tigris, the emu, has never been to the Tower of the Curd. She only knows it's vague whereabouts so camille you're hurt uh do you want to uh rock on or get some healing uh 
I beg for some healing. Daphne, Daphne, can you help me? Oh, if we must, sure. <laughs> so hey, I guess how much I need it for me. <laughs> so lay on hands. How much do you need? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's quite a bit. <laughs> it was substantial. I think it was 26. Yeah. Ouch. You want 26? You want 26? You got 26, scab! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so 26 for healing. Woot, woot. Every time somebody says lay on hands, I always think of the Bon Jovi song for some reason. <laughs> I always think of the pre those preachers, you know, healing yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. I, I always think bad touch. Nice. Bad touch, stranger but, danger. But then again, you know, well, I play with were, Kyle entirely too much. You were an altar boy. You do. So. <laughs> That's true. Uh, we altar boys, we have to stick together. Yep. Uh, okay, now that I have my actual freaking map where I can see it, <laughs> uh, do you guys want to continue on? What time is it? Uh, it's about noon. That's so good. Yeah. I mean, Camille, if you feel up to it, uh, we can press on. I or feel fit is a fiddle now. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. The waterfall continues to pump strange greenish water through the canyon and into the wall surrounding the area. Uh, Tigris and all three of you are a little bit hesitant as you proceed forward. The sun is high in the sky, but because of the height of the rocky crags, uh, not a lot of it gets down to the ground. As you turn yet another corner, uh, you hear a strange cal calamity, like next Saturday's game, uh, of noise. It sounds to be avian. Do you proceed? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, as you round the corner, there appears to be a divergence. Left or right? I will take survival checks from all of you. Uh, well, the last time we had an avian encounter in these lands, it was the buffalo chicken. So I didn't know if it was that. That's true. 19. 11. Rolling, what is it again? Perception? Survival. survival. Okay. All right. Uh, survival is a 16. Uh, Daphne, you know that the avian sounds are coming from the right passage. Uh, and nothing appears to be coming from the left passage. Do you want to go right wanna... or do you want to go left? Do we want to go in somewhere the noise is coming from? Um... Do we want to go away from it? Why don't you ask your girlfriend what she thinks it is? <laughs> well, I guess I ask her, should we go towards noise or avoid it? Well, maybe she knows what kind of bird it is. I'm thinking it's not a bird. Well, That's the Tigress has no idea what it is. All right. Remember, she's, you wanna... <laughs> she, she is not as experienced as you three. No. So, so where the noise is coming from is it like a caved entrance or anything like that no. just a tunnel or just a pathway a so canyon can we get oh. the same place from either way oh ah. oh Tigris has never been here before oh, then she's no help okay whatsoever. remember there. you found her on her very first garden mission right she is essentially first level Oh, fuck. God. Oh. Except she captured you three. So she's a red shirt. She she is a red shirt. Okay. Oh, we we can't we can't <laughs> let her die. Though. Um. Okay. I say uh, left. I have a coin from somewhere. So <laughs> you want to flip a coin? That works. <laughs> sure. Okay. This, uh, I do like yeah. the Super Bowl yeah. refs. This is heads. <laughs> this is tails. <laughs> Call it. Pull. You know, flip it up. Do I have to roll something, Frank? <laughs> Odd or even. Odd or even. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Odd it is. So. 
I'd so left or right? <laughs> what, was was odd left? We'll go with that. I see. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You're flipping the coin. Yeah, I did. So I, I just didn't call it out. So odd is left. So, okay. so. So you're going left. We'll go left. An eerie quiet descends in this canyon as sparse purple grasses <laughs> grow in small splotches. Uh, the ground. Uh, doesn't look like it's been trod upon in ages. Small rocks from above have fallen and litter the ground ahead. This canyon has sharp cuts in it and the tops of it kind of lean in, making daylight uh, a little bit tougher to get down in there. Uh, everybody perception, excuse me, everybody perception check. Uh, 15. 10. 16. Ah, uh, Camille and Zadar, you hear a frog? A frog. A bullfrog, you think? It's hard to tell because of the echoing. Is there any water no. around here? Well, As I mean, you round the corner, you see a flooded area. Oh, man. Uh, still water, though. <laughs> that's never a good sign <laughs> so how does the the frog sound sound frank does it sound big or does it sound small <laughs> doesn't sound anything now oh okay so All how right. far away from the water are we 10 15 20 feet however much you want to be all right so i go up and put my staff in to see how deep it is uh Give me a D6 roll. One being very close to you, six being very far away. Now, the flooded area is across our path. We're, we're not veering off just to... Okay. Correct. All right. All right. Six. Six. So you get your staff in there pretty far. Eh, maybe a foot. Maybe. Uh, all of a sudden, Camille... Man. I knew it. 17. Rock falls and hits you. Oh. Four hit points of damage Ouch. Uh, as it rings off your dome. Uh, after ringing off Camille's uh, unlicensed bobblehead, uh, you hear it hit the water and you all hear the frog noise. Hi. Uh, first, I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm kind of pissed off, but yeah. <laughs> Okay. I and hate getting hit in the head. That's just so rude. At least it wasn't poo. Yeah. 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 And um <laughs> I heard I heard a noise from the water. <laughs> Daphne, you heard it as well. Oh, we're not in the water. You just hear the water. Camille is. <laughs> well, um, no. Her staff was, is. My staff was <laughs> I guess we're like, are we gonna get your staff? How far away, <laughs> like, how wide is it? The water. Uh, 12 feet across. Yeah, well, that's disappointing. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, um, I mean, we Tiger, Tigress goes up and dips her paw or her hoof into it. Okay. Ripples Any... escape from her hoof, but no reaction. I asked no her what she thinks. I mean, granted, you've never been this far. With a six, a rock falls again, but misses her. Well, thank God. It, it hits the water, and again. Well, we should make our way across this, because if not, we're going to get pelted with, with rocks. So is yeah. the noise coming from the water? It would seem so. And if I look up, it, there's nobody throwing shit at us. It's just falling. Yep, just falling. It's a very loose shale here in this part of the canyon. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. What do you guys but, think? It, but it appears to be disturbing the water. Seems to cause rocks to fall. 
which causes a strange reverberation. Well, I think if we're going to do it, we need to go over <coughs> pretty fast. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Let, let's plod right through this. <laughs> can I misty well, stuff across it? Uh, actually, you can. I will do that. Boop. On the other side, you go. All right. Uh, Tigress is impressed. Who wants to go second? I feel like she'd be afraid of the water. Cats usually don't like water. Yeah. She's half horse, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. I said, Tigress, take my hand. Let's try this water together. Fair enough. Yeah. Do you, want, do, you want, do you want to be root beer or orange, Daphne? Orange? Good choice. Not really. Uh, four to six uh, rocks fall as you disturb the water and make the noise, but miss both of your skulls. Is it R? You ready to test your metal? Uh, yes. So I'm gonna try to dash as fast as I can. <laughs> sure. Six. Uh, another rock falls. Everybody's on the other side with Camille. Okay. We need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, I think. Perception check, everybody. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's never good. Ten. <laughs> Fourteen. Six. It's a lovely day. Five. <laughs> Tigress doesn't know shit either. Uh, <laughs> you guys proceed forward. The canyon continues to zigzag at irregular angles. Finally, you reach a section on the right where uh, the stone wall gives way, and it looks like you can backtrack. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do perception checks. I'll roll for the wheel. Four. Oh my god, three. It just gets worse and worse. Uh, 20, not natural. Uh, there's avian sounds coming from the right. Hmm. Okay. Uh, lions so, and tigers and bears. And bears. Oh, my. Oh, my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Uh, I mean, going where the sound of the avian noises are coming from, is that us backtracking or is that... Give me a survival check. Okay. <laughs> okay. For survival, it's a 15. Yeah, that would be backtracking. Okay. So continuing left uh, would put you away from the avian life and the uh, soiled pond. And the soiled pond. I say we press forward, continue left. Everybody in agreement? That's my suggestion. Yeah, I'm going to be like staring at you and be like, okay, left, and then actually be going towards the right. Just because. Just because. Huh? Just because tonight's rolls are not good. So clearly I'm just dazed and confused. So you're going to the right? You're going to right? You're going right? Well, unless you guys call me out on it. You'd be like, let's go to the left. And then, like, because I'm staring at you, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is my left. Nope, the other the <laughs> other left. Come the on. military <laughs> left. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so everybody proceeds left. Uh, everybody roll a d20 straight up. All right. 16 for Tigris. Uh, 17 for Zadar. 19 for Daphne. Uh, Daphne, your PC, uh, or you rather, uh, kicks something. And as you look down, it is a skull. A misshapen skull. Oh, I pick it up and I'm like, this is beautiful. I as can you, make this into something. As you hold it aloft. She, she, she does tigers. a soliloquy. <laughs> Macbeth. Uh, or Hamlet, rather. Hamlet. <laughs> uh, Yorick is actually a Wemix skull. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
A Wii Mix Gold? Do I know what this is? Is Tigress upset about this? Uh, Tigress is confused. Uh, it would be huh? somebody of Tigress's ilk. Right. That, I asked, says, have you had some from... Is this your baby? <laughs> nice. Oh. Nice. Uh, no. Uh, any from uh, your tribe gone missing? No. no, we don't venture this far in. Okay, this is odd. So, um, so Tigress, how do you feel if we leave the skull here, or should we take it with us? Oh, I was gonna bring it with me. I yeah. want. We we should take it. Daphne can have it. Okay. All right. Uh, everybody, give me a survival checks. Five. Ooh, eight. Ten. All three of you, all four of you, <laughs> feel that the ground is rather mushy here. Uh, and oh, no. And there's a uh, ticking noise like loud ants. Are we in the fire swamp? Tish, tish. Daphne explodes in flame. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, she, but she's a tiefling, and that's why. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just uh, it's it's just a strange noise. Uh, huh. I tell everybody, I'm like, we just need to like beat feet out of here. Yeah, I think so. In the meantime, I'm also looking to any of these jagged edges look like teeth. <laughs> Should I they be stabbing the bottom? <laughs> yeah. The mimic canyon effect. Uh, no. Uh, as you move around, you notice that you're stepping on bones. Nice. Okay. We really need to get, need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Glorious bones. So, uh, so do I see like light ahead? Like, we can clear this by going forward, or should we like backtrack the flock out of here? Uh, the the way ahead is still open. Uh, the cavern is still tight, so there's not a lot of light filtering down. But uh, you don't see anything ahead of you. Okay. Huh. All right. Uh, I say I'm with Camille. I, I think we need to beat Cheeks out of here. So are we doing double time? Mm. I think so. <laughs> yes. Uh, everybody starts to haul ass and the flapping of leathery wings can be heard behind you. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't grow wings yet. Uh <laughs> All right, so uh, as we're running, I'll take a look over my shoulder. <laughs> Perception check. Okay. Yeah, not with that. Natural one. <laughs> oh, you <you're> trip! <laughs> <laughs> you, you trip, uh, beat me on a d12 so you don't hit a rock in the face. Yeah. Nine. Oh, seven. That's going to leave a mark. That's going to leave a mark. Uh, and the mark is three hit points. It's a sharp rock. It hits you in the forehead. Uh, 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 the other three are beating feet. And, well, two of them are beating feet. And one of them is galloping. Mm -hmm. uh, do you call out to them or do you just try and scamper away? Uh, I call out to him. Don't worry about me. I'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, stop taking a bone bath. Th there were only three of us uh, <laughs> when we started this trip. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Zadar, roll initiative. Oh, I knew it. 18. Oh, okay. Uh, 13. A brown leathery bat about three feet wide comes rushing down upon you. Fangs extended. Sharp fangs. Sharp fangs. <laughs> uh, 13 plus 3, 16. Messes. Uh, it's in your grill. It's in my grill. And uh, at that D point. D Daphne, Camille, and. Uh, Tigress, you all heard, hey, go ahead, I'll catch up. So you don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I 
screwed myself with that. <laughs> All right, it is it is going to have to do a constitution check. Uh, DC 15. 14 on the roll, plus 2. Oh, shit. Okay. So, all right. My cantrip fails and my fingers get still frosty blue. So, uh, yeah, I am uh, going to use my action <laughs> uh, to pull just to ready my crossbow. <laughs> so that's it. That's all I can Hi, do. Steve. Hi, Steve. Oh, I'll put him up in the camera. I can't get to him. Aw. He's coming to you. Uh so Come here, Steve. Uh, wish me wish me luck, Steve. Come here. What, Zidar, beyond your assailant. Oh wait, I have bonus action. I'm sorry. You used it on the cantrip. The cantrips count as bonus actions? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Never mind. You, re you readied your crossbow. That's it. That was yeah. yeah. Okay. Um you see a whole lot more coming. <laughs> oh god uh camille daphne tigress uh as you round the corner after hearing zadar say he was going to be fine <laughs> you come upon old stones carved in runes they are at disjointed angles and some are broken making it look like teeth on the sandy bottom here ahead of you rises a large mesa uh, Zadar, round two. Okay. Uh, three. So that ain't going to hit you. Okay. I cast Silent Image. So another one of me appears, and I try to skedaddle out of there. <laughs> so so the, the image of me, of the other, is like standing there at the, with the crossbow ready. <laughs> is there a save? Uh, let, let me see if there's uh, like a intelligence check. Uh, let's see, 15 foot cube, sound, smells. Um, I th yeah, I think it would do, uh, have to do a uh, intelligence check, DC 15. Yeah, no, that's not going to make that. So okay. We noticed that Steve isn't, or sorry, Steve, <laughs> that Zadar isn't coming. Steve. <laughs> you do Steve, not, because doing? he said, I'll be okay, you go on right, without I me. I know, but that's been a little while. <laughs> But you I guys, am skedaddling. So. You guys are amazed at the architecture of what you see before you. Despite the fractured pieces of stone, you notice that the runes <laughs> are deeply embedded in these stone obelisks mm -hmm. and archways, uh, clearly the sign of a very advanced society. Tigerus will point out that those look like the runes of her people. A moment later, Zadar comes running up carrying a crossbow. Yep. Dude, I'm like, up? guys, we have company. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, bats, big bats <laughs> coming this way. Okay. Like so... baseball bats? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we would only be so lucky. <laughs> uh, Daphne and Camille, initiative. 11. 14. Okay, 11 and 14. Uh, Zadar says, holy shit, there's bats coming. Uh, we'll start with the 14. Camille? I cast Fog Cloud. Where at? Where? <laughs> Toward the bats. That direction oh, okay. they came from. Okay. So in the canyon. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Daphne? Uh... I cast. We're not like actually attacking them yet, right? You don't see any. Because the canyon's filled with fog. I guess I'll just cast less. Okay. That's good. <laughs> uh, Zadar, what are you doing? Uh, I am backing away, jo joining my compadres. <laughs> uh, Tigress takes out her spear. She is ready for battle. Camille, what would you like to do? Uh, so... Should I 
shouldn't we just keep going? Uh, yeah. sure. <laughs> I mean, we can leave fastly, or yeah. Okay. Uh, Tigress says, uh, up. That's the Mesa. Is that where we want to go? I think so. That's the tower. That... Of the curd sits atop the mesa in the center of the canyon. See so, so I think we're where we want to be. Is there like a door or an entrance, or you know, are we talking like Lost City, City of Petra kind of entrance or anything like that? Everybody, roll perception. Oh, oh my God, three seventeen. Ooh, seventeen. <laughs> Zor and Camille, you notice a winding staircase at the base. About yay wide. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I don't suppose just, there's a railing, is there? <laughs> there is no railing because you just lean against it. Oh, so, man. Uh, so if you wish to climb the mesa, it will be slow going. Yeah. Uh, Tigress. It is she going to be able to not make it? Not entirely certain she can make that trip. Oh. Well, it was nice knowing you. Just kidding. Wow. She will try, though, because she's an adventurer. It's what warriors do. That's right. There is no risk if there... Uh, there is no reward if there is no risk. <laughs> Supposedly. That's right. So, who wants to go first up this narrow, winding... Well, I'm the smallest one, so I guess I will. Yeah. Uh, you climb 20 feet up. Give me a survival check or acrobatics. I will give you guys either. Mm. Where's Ooh. my pretty dice? I didn't do well before. Not doing it. I'm making it. <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh, 19. Uh, Camille scales up 20 feet. Who's second? Daphne, you're the <laughs> one that fell. Yeah, yeah I'm the one that fell. Uh, the tiefling takes a header. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, Zadar, are you up next? I only rolled an 11 in acrobatics. So, so Zadar and Daphne take... Three hit points of damage as you skid down the incline. Uh. And you have to make the trip back up. Oh, I do the, the, I do the, the heroic made. slide. Okay. Tigerus right. is now behind Camille. Okay. So how I... far up is it? 20 feet. Oh, the Mesa? Yeah. 300 feet. Ugh. But you notice it's a 20 foot mark starts to widen out a little bit. Okay. So Daphne, you're up next. I rolled a t 20, not natural. Daphne is up at the 20 foot mark. Zadar. Okay. Oh, better this time, 16. You are at the 20 foot mark. Uh, Tigress says, what took you? <laughs> <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> oh, that's the other thing in Resident Alien, he learns to laugh. I, oh, <laughs> I, I paw her, I hoof her, whatever she is. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit wider, but it's still extremely dangerous. Camille, you're up first. Yeah, what kept you, Rook? <laughs> uh, 19 again. Up to the 40 foot mark. Uh, Tigress. First nap 20 of the night. Oh, she's Tigress. Well. Tigress is just. <gasps> Spider woman it up. Uh Daphne. I'm like careful. Careful, Daphne. It's really high here. <laughs> she should probably help me. Why didn't she help me? Uh nobody bothered to say, hey, let's all tie ourselves off with a rope. <laughs> no, you don't a do that. Ten? Uh, a ten? Eh. Yeah. Uh Zadar, as you watch Daphne slide again. Oh uh, no. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> so is Linus the largest of us all? Mm -hmm. oh. Probably, right? Well, apparently, apparently the most dexterous too. 
Perhaps you all well, ought to tie yourselves to her. I rolled a net 20. Oh, nice. Sure. <laughs> and I throw Daphne a rope. <laughs> oh, she is going to need it. Uh, Daphne, you take 12 points down that trip. Well, first of all, I'm going to take a little nap before we go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die on these rocks. Nobody said it'd be easy. Uh, do you guys want to rest uh, or do you want to get to the top first? What? Uh, Camille will tell, can yell down to you, Daphne. It's getting wider. It's getting wider. Wider? <laughs> oh, I swear I thought you said lighter. I was like, I don't know what that means. No, I'm not an albino. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like your mom. Aww. Uh, apparently, Daphne, it's this. <laughs> there ain't nothing whiter than that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Daphne, you can roll at advantage since Zara's thrown you a rope. Bang. Don't forget, you cast Bless. 17? Oh, I forgot I did that. Mm -hmm. Well, how, how far off were you? If I, well, before it was a 10, so I would have had a, I don't know, I would have rolled a 4 with it. Yep, so go go ahead and roll a d4, and we can erase some damage if you make it. 13 it would have been then? Nope! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You slid. Uh, so your first advantage roll. Was 17. Second advantage roll. Is. Bloop. 15. Daphne is up at the 40 foot mark. Uh, Camille, it looks like you need one more roll to get out to a wide base. Fifteen. Or, yeah, fifteen. Tigers with a 19. Uh, wow. Up she goes. Now, Zadar, you and Daphne have advantage unless you both fail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Daphne is last now, Zadar, your roll. Okay. Oh, good thing we got advantage. <laughs> oh, and that's not going to help. <laughs> Please be a four. No, God damn it, 12. <laughs> you rolled um, the, the C4 with me? That is good enough did. because it is widening out. Okay. Daphne, you're up. Am I rolling regular? Nope. That's still an advantage. Sorry about that. All right. 16? Easily. You guys are all connected. Tigress looks around. It's now about four foot wedge. Even she, although she's got a death grip on the shale as she moves, uh, no longer have to roll checks. Uh, you get up to the 150 foot mark and a mist starts to appear right at the base of the canyon or right at the top of the canyon. Uh, Camille, do you pierce through the clouds? to just keep going up the steps mm -hmm. yes as you continue to go up you notice that the wall changes and it appears to be contorted skeletons of humans mm -hmm. in nice. a variety of positions almost like they were cemented into the side of this mesa uh zadar and daphne you also notice this as you continue to climb up it gets a little bit hairy there as you break through the clouds uh, and you all hear Tigris. Please don't let me fall. Please don't let me fall. Please don't let me fall. <laughs> uh, and you can hear small rocks as she is just literally burying her hand into this rock. Uh, another 50 feet and you guys break through. You're at the 200 foot mark and this allows you to see the great expanse that is the canyon, but you still have another hundred feet to go up. Uh, everybody roll perception. 
Can we take selfies first? Sure. <laughs> but you have to turn away from the wall no. so that it's exceptionally no. dangerous. I don't want to be like and, the guy at my and, <laughs> and lean back as far as you can. That was make the sure, one did? Steve, make you're sure, out again. <laughs> make sure you do duck face. <laughs> right. uh, That's only how I take pictures. <laughs> how about pick? Uh, how about perceptions? Did you say Twenty-three. Perception. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, Daphne, having fallen a few too many times, fuck this. She is raking her ass up against the wall, making sure she doesn't fall another time. Because from this height, it will be deadly. <laughs> There's no question about it. Zidar and Camille on their sightseeing tour, dressed in their pith helmets and their brown shorts, <laughs> notice that this is the area of the eagles, and there are a lot of large three to five foot nests on the side of this canyon, close to Tigris, a mother eagle sitting on an egg looks down uh, oh uh, uh, unnoticed by camille when she passed uh, tigerus will ask what should i do no sudden <laughs> sudden movements and just continue very slowly <laughs> Uh, with one eye on the eagle, she continues to scooch around the side. Do not make eye contact. <laughs> no. no. Uh, Zidar, you are next to have to cross the eagle's path. Oh, okay. Again, <laughs> very, very carefully and if i'm hugging or whatever uh the walls i am like trying to meld into it <laughs> so i guess can i do it stealthily yes but the eagle shrieks loudly give right. me a d20 roll okay wow all right that sucks does anybody have any jerky left yeah i was about to say uh 19 on the roll that doesn't suck at all <laughs> uh you are not stunned uh and continue to move forward daphne your last uh it takes a particular notice in you since it's never Aww. seen a tiefling what would you like to do take it's egg use it as mm, what? <laughs> omelets big omelet oh i wink oh. at it and then I rolled a. Wait, are we moving up? Yeah. Then I go up, and I got a not a twenty, not natural. Uh, it shrieks at you, and you do not fall off either. Uh, you guys continue to round the mesa and are quickly out of its view. <laughs> Did you see the size of that thing? Yes. <laughs> you know how many omelets we could have made with that? Aww. We gotta pass by that later. You know that, right? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> uh, you finally come to wide stairs, uh, probably eight feet across. These are carved stone stairs, uh, not like rough hewn, like the way up. I smack the uh -huh. lioness on the ass and say, there you go. <laughs> well, she's behind you, so you're going to have to. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You reach the plateau of this mesa, and there in the center is the Tower of the Curd. Uh, and actually, I have a picture. Ooh. I'm envisioning like the tabletop game of Dark Tower. <laughs> that is not the right tower. I'm yeah. thinking of the Dark Tower from Stephen King. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is the right tower. Never mind. Uh, you see... This. Through another stone archway. Nice. Right at the base. Uh, a pair of eagles fly across the sky. 
and apparently the Tower of the Curd. Uh, Tigris recognizes it from lore and hmm. said it is glorious. <laughs> I think it sh she was going to say it's cursed. I'd be like, but it probably doesn't have indoor plumbing. I don't think it's that glorious. You never know. It could be magical. It's supposed to be magic. Oh, that's true. Uh, as you finally reach the plateau, you notice that there is a large opening at the base, and you can see right through it uh, as there is another large opening on the far side of the tower. Several small windows dot the exterior, maybe yay big, certainly not big enough to crawl into. Uh, so hopefully there's some kind of stairs inside. So uh, what time of day is it now? Uh, you're talking late afternoon. Mm, so what do we want to do? Are we going in? Yeah. Wait, should we take a short rest first? Uh, not around the Eagles though. <laughs> so we're past the Eagle, right? You're on the plateau. Okay. All right. A shrill shriek comes oh. from within the tower. It sounds oh. like a tortured woman. Oh. Tigress takes one step back. I don't believe her. Ouch. Okay. We're uh, heroes. I guess we have to go in. Are we heroes? I don't know if I ever claim to be. Well, do you want to do you want to take the short rest because Daphne's injured? Oh yes, then we yeah we should. we should. Everybody roll a d twenty. Dun dun dun. Fifteen. I got eight. <laughs> I can hear the reverb from the thing. Uh fourteen. Uh you guys all hear something. There's just a lot of shit moving up here. Uh, the eagles, the pair of eagles, have not made a return flight, so they were apparently honing in on their nest. But uh -huh. there's noises, uh, and it really, really bothers Tigris, who is skittish enough, uh, having never been to the legendary site, uh, seeing things that she's never seen before. Uh, so she's like, do you guys do this all the time? Oh, yeah. 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 So do you make it a habit of falling off the mountain? Mm, typically, <laughs> we, no. We try and typically, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, short rest given. You guys can recover. Hit dice if you need it. Uh, no spells. But, uh, so uh, a, a brief look around. It appears as though there are parts of walls around the surrounding edge of the mesa as if this was a center of a city and the canyon just dropped oh wow okay so i mean there's there's half walls partial walls broken stones it, it's literally like if somebody took a a thing and it just a, yeah a plunger and just pushed the canyon down to the bottom okay the only entrance you can see is the one in front of you, or you can circle all the way around and go into the one on the other side, which you can clearly see because the bottom floor of the tower appears to be fucking hollow. Right. Um, so I guess we well, just go in? Yeah, I guess so. That's what we were tasked to do. So Another shrill shriek is heard oh. uh, does it sound like the same person it could be hard to say uh, there is no exterior ornamentation and only small square windows adorn the massive walls the surface at the top of the mesa offers no vegetation at all and gives off a feeling of dread uh, the main thoroughfare in the tower allows <laughs> visitors uh <laughs> to come in from either side. God, I hate this computer. Um, you're allowed no. to come in from either side to visit this Tower of the Curd. Uh, as you enter, you notice glass mosaics span the length of the great hallway 
and go from the field stone floor 12 feet up to the high arched ceiling and depict a visual history of the great curves that ruled the land. Some of the glass tiles have been removed for some of the visages, indicating that these leaders were not as illustrious as they should have been and were doomed to the annals of history. Hmm. Uh, inside here, you notice two doors, one immediately into the right, one about halfway in to the left. Uh, the glass mosaics span the entire length. Does, does either door look like it's been used more than another? Uh, which one do you want to look at first? Mm, the one on the right. The one on the right? No. It's just covered in dust. Uh, it has a rather immaculate doorknob on it uh, oh. in the shape of a hand. Mm. Ooh, to the shape hand. And the left? Uh, the left has a rock in front of it. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Well, there's probably a reason for that. Right. How there's big a is hole. The rock? There's a hole in the ceiling. Not yay big. There's a uh. hole in the ceiling above. Ah. Uh. Gotcha. Well. Okay. So yep. is the tower falling in on itself. I mean, any. Structure is going to have some structural damage when uh, calamity happens. of that nature happens. All right, Tom Silva. So uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like it was placed there by anyone. Uh -huh. uh, it looks like it had a loose stone and it fell. Okay. So should we open one of the doors? Uh, sure. Um, oh, door on the right has the hand. Right. The door on the left has a knob. Okay. I inspect the one with the hand, checking for traps, not touching the knob yet. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, what do I have to roll to do that? Perception? Performance. Performance? Okay. Uh, okay, not too bad. 20, not natural. You detect no traps. Okay. Um, I look to Daphne, Tigress, and Camille. Camille, yeah, just like, should we try the door? <laughs> yeah, do um, it. I cast Mage Hand. <laughs> <laughs> Mage Hand does not come to life. Oh no! I'm like, oh, uh oh. <laughs> you just sit in there like doing weird shaking. I'm doing like. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> you okay, man? <laughs> I'm I'm thinking magic might not work here, or if it does, it's not gonna work right. So, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I put on a glove and give it a try. <laughs> Throw the rocket. Put on a leather glove. Give it a try. <laughs> I go to shake its hand. <laughs> you dip, you hear a click, and the door screeches open. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's been over a hundred years. I'm guessing the hinges are a little bit. They might rusty. need. It might need a little oil. <laughs> Camille, note that Zidar attempted to use mage hand, and it did not work on the door. Mm -hmm. Yep. Magic uh, might not work here. WD-40, anybody? Uh, the door squeals open. Uh, everybody perception. No perception. 19. Uh, 19 with your uh, half-leaned ears, you pick up... Ew. Breathing? Darth yep. Vader's here. <laughs> Heavy breathing. It's like a creepy person that calls Appears to be coming from the winding staircase beyond the door with the hand. The mm -hmm. staircase goes up, I assume. It does indeed. All right. Guys, I, I'm hearing some breathing up there. 
I think we should go up. Okay. Um, what is the lighting situation in the room? Just the light from the door? Yes. There will be no light uh, in the... Uh, actually, hang on just a second. There is no light in the staircase. Mm. Okay. Uh, also, unlike the walls below, the walls in the staircase area have painted murals of various spots of the Telosian frontier. All three of you will recognize this from when you rescued Hempta the Seductive from her uh, mansion below the waves in Cacophony. The paint is peeling away in some spots, but the vivid colors still give off an air of regal ambiance. The well-worn field stone stairs reveal years of people moving up and down them, but no signs of recent passing as the dust has layered the stones. So oh. I can cast light. Okay. Okay. As you do so, the vivid murals come into play. Uh, it appears as though you're going to go up about 12 feet, maybe? Okay. Which would be top ceiling of the first floor. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Who's going in first? <clears throat> Tigress? Tigress is, Tigress is no. last. <laughs> she is la I say she the hear the breathing? goes first. Uh, she got a one, so she didn't hear the breathing either. Uh, wow. Keep in mind, what did you cast the light on? Your... Um, the walls. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's the radius of light? So it's going to... 20. 60 20 feet. feet. So we get 60 oh, feet. Oh, 60 feet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll be eliminated. Okay. okay. Who's first? I, I guess I'm going first. Go ahead, meat shield. <laughs> and let's say... Where's a child? Uh, Do we have a child? As you reach <laughs> the top of the stairs, it opens up. Uh, keeping in mind the tower is circular, uh, it opens up into a large room. Uh, aged banners hang from the wooden ceiling supports at this location, and benches line both walls. Stairs lead up just inside where the center of the tower would be. Uh, as a warrior, your best guess would be when this place was in power, there was probably a guard here. Um, let's see. So do uh, we still hear the breathing? Several arrow slits provide flickering light, uh, since it is dusk, from outside. A large chair sits on the northeast wall and has a brass lever set in the floor. Looking around, you see no reason for this lever to be present. No other stairs or whatever cascading up. So the we're gonna pull the lever. There's stairs in the center, and the room itself goes around to the left, where you cannot see anything. So what? Something? What is it? What shouldn't be present? A lever in the floor. Oh, okay. There's no earthly reason why a brass lever sits in the floor next to the throne. But you said we're at dusk. Yep. So there's a little bit of light filtering in. So, so you have this big room that kind of angles off the tower. Right here in the center of the tower is a staircase that goes up. And then there's a blind spot on the left. So should we stop for the night? Or should we investigate around the lever? Lever. You've been here? The lever. Um, I say let's investigate around the lever. <laughs> I say pull it. No! Are there any cracks on the floor? Fieldstone, but... Okay. So nothing. No, no obvious hinges. Nothing on the floor. Not in this room. How about up? If we look up. Uh, uh, blackened timbers. Blackened. Just like black birch or something, not like. Oh, fire. I was about to say. Well, that kind of explains Sta the sta standard medieval. Okay, got it. I mean, you have the lever in the throne, 
the stairs going up, the stairs going down, and the blind spot to the left. Because okay. remember, the tower's like this, and you see this. Right. Okay. Can we hear the breathing? Everybody, perception check. All the way. 15. 12. 13. Uh, as Daphne moves over towards the lever, ah! a scream is heard from upstairs. <laughs> I think he definitely wants us to pull a lever. I think that's what that scream means. You, you definitely want to pull that lever, don't you? I do so badly. It's like when someone puts that big red button in front of you, so do not push. All right, Mike Pence. <laughs> I, <Do not> touch. <laughs> I say okay i tell you why all right so yeah i make a little like like uh snare with the <laughs> with my rope and uh yeah loop it over the lever <laughs> i go stand over by the throne well, that's where the lever is. That's where oh. the lever is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you want to pull it, the lever too? To, to put it into perspective, the the throne is right here, and the lever from the Joker's Wild is right here. Yeah. Which was a game show in the seventies, Daphne. <laughs> what? Joker's Wild. <laughs> So, uh, so okay. Laura's fucking around with a rope. Daphne is rubbing her hands, getting ready to yank it. Camille is sitting in the throne. This Dude, is this not going to go well. You're going to sit on the throne? She is right at the entrance to the stairs. No, no. Honey, honey, come in here. You can't oh, be that far away. I'm fine <laughs> where I'm at. No. <laughs> We don't split the party. Oh, she can see you. I would okay. feel more comfortable if you were close to close to us. I would feel more comfortable if there was less screaming in this place. <laughs> All right. Your lover here is going to pull this thing. Are you comfortable where you're at? I'm very comfortable where I'm All at. All right. All She's right. got one foot on the downstairs. Ready I tell to you what, why don't we work our way to the the uh, the wall? <laughs> we'll let out the line, and I will give it a pull. <laughs> the blind spot wall or the stairwell wall? The stairwell wall, I would imagine. Okay. Hey, that if that's okay with yeah. you guys. That's fine. Okay. So, yeah, we do that. You guys stand in the stairwell where you just heard the scream and he's going to pull the rope. I'm on the throne. Oh, okay. So you're, standard, you're right next to it. Okay. Daphne, where are you going to be? Okay, nobody wants to err on the side of, of caution. Fine. I'll take my position by Camille and say, Daphne, do the honors. I get to pull it? Hey, there's only one way we're going to find out what's going to happen. All right, I pull the lever. Strength check. Oh, we probably can't pull the lever. It's probably been a while. <laughs> I got a nat 20! You Plus four, 24. <laughs> rip it off. Yeah. So now you have a rounded mace in your hand. And you say, huh. huh. <laughs> Everybody hears, gah, 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 and the sound of bones. Oh, no. In the filtered dim light coming in through the arrow slits of the tower, the blind spot is home to multiple skeletons. Everybody uh, roll initiative. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, crap. Twelve. Fourteen. Oh, man. Uh, I feel like that meme from the simpsons with ralph wiggum <laughs> i'm in, I'm in danger, danger. <laughs> 14. uh zadar and daphne from your location you were able to react first as the skeletons burst into the room <clears throat> they wear uh they wear something right. 
Do they look like Harryhausen skeletons? <laughs> you know, back from the same uh, voyages of Sinbad days. Yeah, but they're wearing tattered armor. Okay. So, uh, so close. Uh, and there are a lot of them. So Daphne and Zadar, you're up first. Oh, also you all hear ah! <laughs> <laughs> from Tigress, right? Correct. Oh man. Okay. Uh I look, is there is there anything like a like a cage door or anything that or a portcullis that'll come and down and I separate cast us? Darkness. I'm just kidding. I won't. Uh that doesn't do you any good because she ripped the fucking lever out of the ground. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is gonna suck. All right. Uh and I'm up. Yep, you and Daphne. Okay. Um do we still have less casted upon us? Uh, no, that has since gone away because you took a short rest. Okay. Uh, I I guess it's Medal of Honor time. <laughs> Without. Um, All right, I'm weapons. gonna cast channel of divinity and turn the unholy nice all right <laughs> thank god you you read that <laughs> i know i was like i think i can finally do this because they're the undead <laughs> yeah i wondered if she'd remember <laughs> i can't that's like my whole attack right that correct happen. that's your action yeah so how many can you turn is the question it says um uh, doesn't give me just says whatever can see or he hear me within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw what is the saving throw 13 13 well, there were a lot <laughs> Do to roll a die for each one. <laughs> uh, you got your wish. <laughs> I rolled two ones. So it's turned for one minute or until it takes damage. Uh, fair enough. Three of them are still coming. Is it our? Uh, oh. Okay. I am... Uh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Checking my actions. All right. Uh, scimitar attack. Okay. Gonna try to take a head. <laughs> Half damage. Okay. Uh, that'll be a 20 to hit, not natural. Easily. Okay. And uh, you said half damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, six plus seven. I don't know if fire is going to affect them. Uh, eight points of damage, and I'm inflaming the blade with green flame blade. Okay. And they're they're probably immune to it, but I'm trying it anyway. It's necrotic, isn't it? Uh, green flame? No, it's flame damage, fire okay. damage. Fair enough. Uh, three of them are there, one on each of you at this point in time. On Camille, that's a four, so that'll miss. Uh, Zadar is 13 plus 5, 18. Uh, 18 does hit. And a seven plus 5, 12 on Daphne. That's not going to do shit. Uh, D6, Murder Hobo. Five plus two, seven damage as you are speared. Oh, with destiny. Uh, Camille, you are up. So, Zadar is the one that took the spear, right? Correct. So, okay. where is everybody in relation to me? Flanking you to the left. So, you have a front line, three skeletons, three more coming around the corner. I cast web. 
Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Uh, on the three in front of you or the three beyond? Um, Web is 60 feet. Right. So just the whole in thing? front. Yeah. What's the save? Oh. Mm. These cards have really tiny writing. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. One of them's a 16, so they will get through. Uh, the other two are not going to get through, and the three beyond are going to be stuck on the other side as well. So you got five of six. Uh, Tigris, ah, ah, ah. Uh, Zadar, and Daphne, you guys are up. Get your spear out, honey. We need to give Tigris some nice, chillaxing herbs. She can so, have wine when this is all over. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right. right. So, so who's up? You can go first this time. Okay. All right. Scimitar to the head of the one that is coming up for a net 20. Damage, damage, modifier. Okay. Uh, let's see. Seven. <coughs> uh, uh, 19 points of damage. Is that halved? Oh, okay. Then half of 19, so nine. <laughs> I uh, mean, a nine point whatever, rounded, whatever. So. Daphne? All right, so I'm attacking whatever ones we've been attacking. There's only one that has uh, made it through the webs. All right. Uh, whoa. And you've sent six to the far back end. A 14 and a 20, not natural. Both hit. Nine damage. Halved. What are you using? Uh, scimitar also. Four. Twelve. Tigress. Summons every bit of courage that she has and throws her spear. Oh no. Please don't hit me. Yikes. Uh, 18 on the roll. Nice. She don't has her miss. shit squared away. I was hoping she'd miss because eh, it's on the other side of the webs. Seven more damage halved. Ah. Uh, I will attack. Uh, there's three of you in front of me. Tigris is out of the range. That's a four. One, two, three, four. Zadar. Five plus five is ten. That'll miss. Uh, Camille, you are up. Uh, the other five are uh, uh, stuck in the web. Good. Um, I will use my quarterstaff. Uh... This will be bludgeoning, so it will be full damage. Knock its block off. Oh, well, crap. Eight. Uh, that's a swing and a miss. Top of the order, Daphne and Zadar. Okay. Uh, None of them have attacked us at all? There's only one. All the others are stuck. All right. I'm just, we're just all going to attack them anyway. Does mm -hmm. an 11 or a 18? The, the 18 hits. You need a 13 to hit the skeletons. And then. You should have killed them with a lever. Yeah, oh. it's a mace. <laughs> I have a lever. I forgot I still have Frank that. specifically that. said mace like lever in your hand. All it's right. a big ball like Bugs Bunny cartoon. Crown this. How would I even be. play? hit with that what would i roll just a normal yeah yeah oh then can i decide that this one's just my lever nope you already said you forgot damn it <laughs> i didn't realize all right next round okay all right Zidar. Six damage half so three afterwards three okay yeah. zadar uh zadar hits with uh <laughs> 20 yep. um as seven points halved Three so. more. Uh, summoning all of her courage, the mighty tigress comes up, grabs her spear, and jerks up. Mm. 
13 plus 4, 17. Uh, bones! Pew! Spray as she cuts through the old breastbone and they clatter to the floor. Uh, she then whips it around and bashes one in the face that is stuck in the web. Nice. Uh, the skull explodes. Uh, all threats have been eliminated as four are still stuck in the web. If you want to investigate beyond that, you're going to have to kill these guys, noting that there are still six uh, that the channel divinity of Daphne's has chased off. Yeah, we gotta kill they're gonna, fuckers. Yeah, they're gonna come back. <laughs> so. Well, we gotta well, kill the ones in the webs first, right? Free hits. Uh, free first hits. Yeah. Sure. Everybody roll a d20 uh, to make sure you don't fumble it and get stuck in the web yourself. Just straight up d20? Straight up d20. Right. 16. What? And I'm like, wee! <laughs> she went flying into it. Wee! Daphne I'm, goes into the web. <laughs> I'm like, if I roll myself in this, I'm basically like a giant thing of cotton Did candy. Roll? It's just all around me. <laughs> uh, Zadar, Tigris, and Camille with the 12 can bash the stuck ones before cutting Daphne out. You will have white strands decorating you. You'll look like Morticia Adams. <laughs> I say, let me borrow this, dear, <laughs> and I take the mace. <laughs> what is a mace? A D what? D6 plus one. D6 plus one. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah, free swing. Mm -hmm. so, You'll be able to kill these guys without any effort. Okay. They're stuck. <laughs> They're stuck. It's like killing ants, man. Yeah. Uh, but... Daphne is now stuck. Her channel divinity is broken. Uh oh. Daphne, roll a d6 for me, please. Let me get stuck. I did. Five. Five skeletons come rushing back in. Uh, we'll stick with the initiative round. So, Daphne, after being cut out of the web, you and mm -hmm. Zadar are up first. I'm attacking uh, with my lever. Yeah, I handed it back to her. <laughs> okay. I get two attacks for it. A 13 and 18. Both hit. Hello. Eight and five. So, what's that? 14? Same one. Eight and five. Yeah, same same creature though. How close are they? Uh, there there's five of them, so somebody's gonna brother get and two. sister. Yeah, if nice. they're too close together, I would like to like hit one and then bam, hit the other one. So eight and five. Okay. Yeah, we'll do eight and five. Zadar. Okay. Uh, I will hit the one that took five. Okay. <laughs> or try to. Uh, ooh, uh, not with a 10. Nope, not with a 10. Uh, Tigress is there. She will go after. Same one as you guys. 16 on the roll. She's oh. fucking crushing it. Oh, boom, lion. That's uh, eight, but it's only four. So, okay, nine. Uh, the skeletons attack. One on each of you. The other one goes after two, Zadar. Okay. So, on Camille, that's an 18 on the roll. That's a hit. On Zadar, that's an 18 and an 18. Three 18s in a row if you're keeping track. Jeez. Uh, on uh, Daphne, yeah. 17. And on Tigris, 12 plus 5, so 17. I hit everybody. I'm in a uncanny dodge rogue shit to have all that. 
You can uncanny dodge one of them. One right? of them? Yeah, at least. Everybody takes four damage. Uh, so Zadar gets a six total. Cash to half cash. I cast a hellish, hellish rebuke. And 20 fire damage? Dead. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> the, the brittle bones uh, turn to dust in the cream. I look at the other skeletons like, ah. <laughs> uh, Camille, that puts you up. Intense stairs. Mm. So what have I got left to work with? Well, you haven't found the big bad, so well, I'd be no, careful I'm... about using all your spells. Uh, right. You got your staff. That worked well last time. No, no, time. I mean, who are we fighting? One. Okay. Everybody's got one on them now. All right, I'll try my quarter staff again. Sure. 14. Hits. Um, what is that? Well, crap. A D6 plus one. Thank you. Three. Uh, you are going after the one with eight on it. Bludgeoning damage is full. Top of the order, Daphne and Zadar. I will bonus action cast Hex on the one in that I'm fighting and uh, attack it with the scimitar. Okay. Because we don't get to Keep do two. <laughs> You're referring to him, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, 18 to hit. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be uh, seven damage, half, so three. And then uh, D6 for necrotic. Yeah, uh, you could skip that. It's already undead. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> That's right. uh, Daphne, you're up. Hitting them with my lover still. Um, seven doesn't hit. Yikes. 14 hits, though. 14 does hit. You're starting to notice the ball end of that base is kind of getting dinged up a little bit. Six damage. Okay. Uh, you Do you I are. See? Anything else in this room that could be <laughs> Uh, Zadar. No. Oh, There's Aww. no children or old ladies. Uh, Tigress, now imbued with the passion of a warrior ass. Ooh. <laughs> Bam! Oh, no. <laughs> she. It One of us is going to get stuck. <laughs> Here's Camille. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, for one hit point of no. damage. It's okay. <laughs> it happens to all of us. Slices <laughs> right across your chin. <laughs> uh, that leaves the skeletons. Uh, one on each of you on Camille. That's a two. That's not going to work. Zadar. That's an eight. That's not going to work. Daphne, that's a seven. That's not going to work. Uh, and Tigris, a two. That's not going to work. So, Camille, you are up. Uh, quarter staff again. To the one that just hit you? Yeah. Tigris? What? No, not her. <laughs> Here's the last one to hit you. Come on. I'm just saying. 16. <laughs> Show that bitch who's boss. Is yeah. a 16 hit? Oh, yeah, easily. 13 is what you need. Okay. And you said D6? Mm hmm. Plus so one. Five. Smashes the skeleton into itty bitty pieces. Uh, that was the one that got hit by several of you. Top of the orders that are in Daphne. And how many are left? Two? Uh, there are three. Three. I killed number one. Number one, number two, and number five. Okay. okay. Um, killed one, and uh, coup de gras from Camille killed the other. 
Okay. Uh, with the flame blade uh, inflamed on the on my scimitar, I'm gonna attack. Sure. Uh, with that, <laughs> an eleven. It brings off the old armor, Daphne. I use my lever. I'm gonna hit and then throw. The lever. Yeah, so I'll hit one and throw it at another one if it's further away. This cannot possibly. This cannot go wrong. <laughs> It'll be fine. Sure, go ahead and hit the first one. The hit one is thirteen. The throw one is a sixteen. Both hit. Uh, you also notice that after throwing it, uh, that connection has made it useless as a weapon. You so said it was getting damaged anyway. Yeah. I'm just pointing out that now it's done. So how much damage for each? A six and a seven. So you hit the number two, uh, six, and you hit the other one for seven. Okay, uh, Tigress is going to go after the middle one, of course. Tigress, she's a Tigress, dumbass. Tigress. Uh, 19, so she has recovered her aim. Oh, and another lion. That bitch is on fire. She uh, is. Eight, eight divided. Her dad is going to be so proud of her. That's right. Uh, <laughs> there are only three left. Uh, there are four of you. The first one's going after two, Zadar. Second one, three, Daphne. And the last one, four, Tigress. So, Zadar, uh, 10 plus 5, 15. Does not hit. Daphne, 14 plus 5, 19. And Tigress, 16 plus 5, 21. Uh, Daphne and Tigris. Ooh, big dick energy with a seven damage. Wow. She yells in pain, having not felt that kind of damage in a long time. Uh, Camille, you're up. So there's three? There are three. Everybody's injured. So who's on Tigris? Or, I'm sorry, number two. I'll take that one. Okay. Well, that's not going to be helpful. Nine. Negatory! Top of the order, Zidara and Daphne, as the struggle continues. I still have one on me, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Right now, it's you, Daphne, and Tigris. All right. Uh, all right. But now, no. now Camille has stepped up with Tigris. So next round, it'll be Adi. Okay. Uh, let's see. That is uh, a 19 to hit, 10 damage, plus I don't know if it's susceptible to flame, but six points of flame damage. Uh, was that 10 half damage? Uh, that, no, no. So it's five and then six flame or half. Got it. Six, yeah. Daphne? All right, my first one's 20 not natural and 21 to hit. Both hit. And it's half damage at this point again. Because we live in chaos. And whichever one attacks me, I'm going to attack back. Okay. So 16, so half is 8. 16 damage. Get him, Steve. No, that's, that's not Cosette. Steve. That's Cosette. Cosette! <laughs> I wish Steve was still up. I love him. <laughs> so how much damage, Daphne? Eight. It would have been 16, but it's half, so it's eight. Got it. Uh, Tigress. Two. Oh. Uh, on Zadar... You will have advantage as they roll a one. So your next attack, Zadar, will be at advantage on that one. Uh, 15 plus five, that's a dirty 20. Odd Camille, even Tigris. 14, go after Tigris. 
Uh, not with a four. So Daphne, wah, wah. Three damage, Daphne. You're muted. <laughs> She's having a conversation. <laughs> We can't hear get you. Get more wine. Get more wine. You hear me? I'm. Just, you guys can't hear me yelling. It's my <laughs> no. <laughs> my roommate's guessing. like your your car and all this stuff, and I'm like, I need to focus on this. And the more she talks to me, the more I'm gonna go down there and like lose it. I'm like, what's wrong with your car? Well, so <laughs> you hear her? I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm getting angry. It's fine. We're going to move past it, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying right. to focus on you and I can't. Okay. So you're taking three damage. Daphne. I'm taking three damage? Yep. Yeah. And okay. Camille, your turn. And I'm still with Linus. Yes. No, Linus is a guy from Peanuts. You're with Tigris. Or, sorry. Yes. Ooh. And Daphne, if you need to step away, I'll go ahead and roll for you. 18. 18 hits. I'm going to roll on that one. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I hit a 20. I'm one for one, so it doesn't really matter. It's so stressful. I know. <laughs> but yeah, it, five damage. Uh, and you're using a staff, right? Yep. Da, 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 da. Got it. Uh, top of the order, Zadar and Daphne. But yeah, Daphne, if you need to go check on something, go ahead. I got your. I no, got your it's just the car situation because we have a single strip driveway. And like, I obviously work from home, so I never have to move my car. So she's like, do you want to put your car in or should I put my car in? And I'm like, I really don't care right now. I can't, I can't think about this in this moment. That's fair. Okay. You and Zadar are up. Okay. Uh, 22 to hit. Uh, uh, six damage total. Three or six? Six, actually. Okay. Dead. Nice. That skeleton's gone. Daphne, you're up. Alright. So there's only two left? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One on you, uh, one on uh, Camille, and Linus, the guy who plays... Minus. So 12 is a hit with 21. At least it's not pig pen. That's true. And it's half of five. I don't know how you're going to do that. Two and a half. Always round down. Yeah. Uh, Tigress. DM is an asshole. Round up. Right. Tig yeah. Round Tigress. up the words. <laughs> round down when you're attacking. That's how it's supposed to go. Tigress misses. Uh, the one on uh, Camille Tigress on even. Uh, even again, it's going after Tigress. Uh, not with a six. Uh, on Daphne, not with a five. Camille, you're up in this elongated combat. Okay, <laughs> quarter staff again. 16? Yeah. Um, two. Not helpful. Uh, Zadar and Daphne, <sighs> you're really starting to get winded. This fight's lasting a while. <laughs> it is. Okay. Uh, I, I took out the one that was on me, so Daphne and uh, Tigris are the only ones with skeletons on them, right? Tigris and Camille. Oh, and Camille. And then Daphne. Oh, okay. There's only two skeletons left, but that's how it's pairing out, because Camille is helping Tigris. Okay, uh, so Daphne's probably the closest to me in proximity, I would imagine. I would assume so. Okay, so I'm going to attack that one. It was uh, like, attack me? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, 13 <laughs> hits the skeleton, though, right? It does. Okay. And uh, that is uh, three points of the damage from the scimitar, and the flame damage is... Uh, two. Just barely enough to crush the last remnants of the hateful existence of the skeleton as it crumbles to the ground. Daphne, you are out of position. You are going to have to use missile or magic to hit the last remaining skeleton. 
can I throw my hand at? You certainly <laughs> can. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what spells I have that can really, like, do damage, per se. I'm all for throwing the hand axe. Oh, he's I all for it. Need a, okay, go ask this guy. <laughs> At 19 hits. All right, no, I didn't do it yet. I said fine speed. Um, oh, okay. oh, we got a nat 20. Woo! <laughs> 25. Damage, damage what? modifier. Uh, I had a ranger as one of my early characters, and he always threw hand axes. Oh, <laughs> 17 damage. Halved is uh, eight. Uh, eight is enough to crush Tigris and Camille's uh, skeleton Thank as you. the spinal column is severed. The head goes one direction, and the bones go the other. A quiet stillness takes over. Wait, I'm going to collect my hands <laughs> actually. Daphne wants to get some heads, so she's going to wander around. <laughs> uh, you can check on where they came from. Yeah. Or the stairs up or the stairs down. I say we check where they came from. Do we first. need to regroup and see who needs to be healed or whatever? Probably all that. I think we need to take a good long rest. <laughs> this, this spot is indefensible at this time. Meaning we're not going to be safe. <sighs> Even There's if we no pile way. the bones somewhere. <laughs> no way you can guard three openings. No, well, that's uh -uh. true. Well, um... Yeah, I'm going to take a quick gander where they came from. Two things uh, that you notice. One is a trap door in the floor just around the corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second is there is a door carved out of a light-colored oak that has a frontier scene etched into it. A large bison head is in the center of the door, and it is the most noticeable feature with other flora and fauna making up a border on the door. Uh, the doorknob is in the shape of an extended hand. Do we still a hear hand. the breathing? Everybody perception check. Uh, 19. Uh, 15. Uh, 15. All three. All four of you hear a beating heart. Well, that's not creepy. Uh -uh, not at all. Um, Zidar, looking into the trap door below mm -hmm. is the sick skeleton. Apparently, when the it channel divinity through. took, it fell through. Uh, everybody give me intelligence checks. Not saves, intelligence checks. Alrighty, for an intelligence check, uh, yeah. Oh. Nine! Six. <laughs> we're, we're, we're exhausted to the point of stupid. <laughs> I am. Yeah, thank you. I feel down. Camille, what's, what's your role, Camille? Uh, I think it's 15. Well, that's close. Uh, not as good as the 19 Tigerish rolled naturally. She points out uh, how, how hey, th this leads this leads downstairs <laughs> into that other room. Oh, oh, the like the door that was blocked. Blocked. Oh, okay. Huh. But the skeleton is down there and we can see it. Yeah. And she leans over and you hear her gather spit. Oh. <laughs> and spits down onto the head and goes, <laughs> I like her. <laughs> 
So what you have now is the stairs going down, the mm -hmm. iron rungs going down, the uh -huh. stairs going up, and the handshake door. Already, y'all. What do y'all think? I default I to my compatriots. Your compatriot was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> um... I mean, Daphne, what do you think? I mean, to go downstairs into that other room, I mean, we'll Rose, have to lower Rose ourselves Rose down. Right? Came from? The what? Where all the skeletons came from, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I, do they seem to be more skeletons down there? There do not. I mean, do we have a rope? Or a ladder of some sort. I don't know how far down is the job. I mean, we can, I, I still up. It couldn't be like that. Big of Twelve it. feet. I still have a rope. So Ty Tigris will not be able to climb the rungs. No. The rungs. It's iron rungs set in the side. So it. Oh, okay. downstairs. And we can't leave it, her alone. No. It, no. I say we try the door. Yes. So. Who wants to shake the hand? Uh, Sadar puts his glove on and shakes, <laughs> shakes the hand. D twelve against me. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Uh, the door opens without a sound. Oh. Inside uh, this door, the furnishings. Uh, let's see. Painted murals and a large rug reside in the center of the room and gives a map-like representation of Telosia. The furnishings indicate that this room catered to a higher class of people, as in lieu of benches, fine furniture is present here, covered in dust. Uh, the walls are supported with dark wooden beams that panel off the chamber, giving equal distance between each section. Murals of individual clans are painted in the alcoves and it is evident that honored guests such as clan chiefs may have been resident in this room, possibly a waiting room. The mahogany table sits along the far wall and has dusty wine bottles and a silver drinking set atop it. Uh, Are the wine bottles full? They appear to be, but you're across the room. Um. The, this is the only entrance in and out of that room was through that door. Is that correct? That is correct that you have found. We have a place that we could take a rest after we check all this out. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I enter the room and start cautiously exploring and press the digitating as I'm going like a you. Roomba. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? I investigate the wine bottles. Fair enough. Definitely. I press the dissertate those. Thank you. <laughs> no. What? What do you mean? What do you want to do in this room? Um, what? I've got the wine, so you're going to have to do something else. I know, apparently. <laughs> you can look at the alcoves. <laughs> sure. Or, or you can look at the silver drinking set next to the wine. Which he probably I'll look at the too. alcoves because I have a weird fear of silver. <laughs> Sure. Uh, Zadar and Camille, D12 against each other. Okay. Uh, four. Nine. Camille, as you stride across the room headed for the wine, the map rug. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, 17. And you take oh, uh, 7 damage as the rug completely envelops you. Uh, no, give me no. a DC 13. Like, uh, like, you'll yeah. need a DC 14 because your strength sucks. <laughs> Minus 1. 
I so, tell I tell Daphne I've ran into these things for, before being a thief. <laughs> they suck. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, Wait, but I'm okay, right? Because I'm like not near them. You're okay. Uh, you are not grappled. Oh, you, but you do suffer seven hit points of damage. Everybody, roll initiative. Okay, oh, so yeah? she's not grappled. That's cool. She is not grappled. Ooh, twenty. Uh, 17. Dose. What was yours down? Oh. Two. Dose. Zwei. <laughs> Which other language do you want? <laughs> I just got Zai, 14. Uh, <laughs> 20, Camille, you're up first. Fucking rug just bit you. Um, I'm not sure what to do. It can burn it. I don't think I have that. I mean, you're not grappled inside of it. Is she still inside of it, or...? She is not. Okay. So I'm going to cast something on the rug. Okay, what are you going to cast? Um... Uh, ray of Sickness. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> interesting 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 no it is an entity so yeah it's save is three how much damage do you do uh as it starts to belch strands of um, color looping <laughs> and, roll? and dust <laughs> what is it ray of sickness yes uh looking it up zadar you're up next okay uh I am going to make a scimitar attack uh, with uh, it inflamed. It's uh -huh. inflamed. Uh, 2d8 poison, uh, Camille. Yep. Okay. okay. The scimitar slash, does a 12 hit it? Uh, 12 is what you need. Okay. So from that, it's going to take... Um, 1d6. 10. Uh, a total of uh, 11 points fire damage. Nice. And then I'm going to offhand attack with the flame dagger. Not with that, though. 11. Swing Adibus. Uh Tigress. 18. Jesus Christ. This is on fire. 5 plus 2, 7, 28. Uh, the rug lashes out. <coughs> Excuse me. At it's Camille tonight. Rip. Uh, uh, eleven. So that is a miss. Daphne, last in line. You're up. The map I'm rug is attacking. A rug. It just doesn't seem real. It's a rug. So, I don't think it has rug. health or feelings or anything. Well, give it your hand. Let's see if it feels that. Uh, I don't even know what to do. do you just stab it? I guess I just stab yes. it. Yes. Know, know what is currently in it, so go ahead. Dude. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> 22 and 20 not natural. Both hit. Uh, 18 total. Top of the order, Camille. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head like that? That's a lot of damage. Mm, sometimes I roll that once, and sometimes I roll real good damage. <laughs> That's true. Camille, you're up. Yeah, I was about to say, we just had a whole episode of BTR about that. <laughs> uh, that was... 13. That hits. Hmm. And what did I roll before to hit? D6. D6. One. Plus one is two. Uh, Zadar, you're up. 
Okay. Uh, flaming c- uh, sitar. <laughs> sitar. Sorry. Sitar, Simitar. really? Are you a beetle? I am. I was I'm going back to my bard days. You gotta hit it with a loop. Uh, 26 to hit. Yep. And uh, let's see. That'll be uh, seven points of slashing damage, followed by uh, seven points of flame damage, and then I've got the offhand attack. Uh, 22 this time to hit. Yep. Okay, so that is uh, nine slashing, and the flame damage is going to be uh, th- three more points of fire damage. Nice. Uh, Tigris. What did that card really like, say on fire for taking fire damage? Not, not their fire damage. <laughs> Uh, 14 plus 2, 16. Oh, murder hobo. Uh, and with that, the rug falls lifeless. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> There's a big hole where the emu nation was. Oh, <laughs> I feel bad. No, uh, I tiger. Don't. Tigerus turns to Zadar and says, what the fuck was that thing? <laughs> uh, that is what is known as a rug of smothering. <laughs> I have run into those before. They suck. <laughs> I, I'm not stepping on any more rugs in this place. I advise you not to. <laughs> uh, a look around finds no other. Yes. Yes. I want to tell Tigress how glad I am she came with us. Ass kiss her. Uh, <laughs> what? She's done so well. She has been, and we she tell her, well. you've been very brave with all this. I tell uh, her. Looking around, you see no other exits. Uh, the wine bottles, there are four bottles. Uh, if you don't drink them, they're worth 50. If you drink them, they're worth nothing. Uh You can constitutionalize if you drink them to see how good they are. The silver drinking set uh, that Daphne grabbed is 100 gold pieces. I grabbed it. I said I was afraid of it, I thought. Oh, okay. You did not grab it. Wasn't it somewhere else? Whoever wants it is... We'll we'll pocket it. (laughs) Keeping in mind that this is the Tower of the Curds. Oh, yeah. That's right. Maybe we just Uh, travel light. Yeah, we'll travel like I'll there is there is no other exit here. And if you want, you can move the mahogany table up against the handshake door and barricade yourselves in for the night. Everybody roll perception. I sleep with the rug. <laughs> perception is 18. a 20, 22. Uh, Camille and Zadar, you hear another scream. Tigerus and Daphne do not. Uops, uh, I say we just go to sleep. <laughs> as best as we can. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to set up a watch? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Who wants first? Tiger. Uh, can Tiger. we all take... You're really volunteering your girlfriend. Tiger. Bye. Is- She's not, she's not going to stand watch. I'll uh, take the first watch. Well, Camille's been battered, so if she takes first watch, she can sleep the longest. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody will get their eight hours of sleep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you will each hear noises. You will each hear creaks. One of you. Six. Daphne. Half the night is knocking on the door. Don't answer the door. Be an Ernie. Be no. an Ernie. Yes. No, don't, no, uh, don't no. answer the door. I don't answer the door. They're going to knock on the door. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not I'm going to knock the door. back. I knock back. They're like, we're going to do That's like, fine. they knock, and then I knock. And they knock, yeah. and then I knock. Do the hit. Do, do the, uh, uh, you know, whatever, you know, two bits. Yeah. Shape, Shape it a haircut. And a haircut. haircut. <laughs> Uh, you guys will each sleep fitfully, but you will be able to regain your spells and your hit points. Uh, dawn will break anew as the sun beams in through the slender uh, arrow slits, and we will see how that works in 
two weeks. Nice. Final thoughts, Daphne. Uh, sorry. Definitely <laughs> open up Facebook because I have problems. Oh, gosh. Well, what did oh, you I think of tonight, the episode? It's good. I mean, literally thought I was going to die trying to just walk up a freaking mountain. I wish we had got to rest prior so I would have had all my spell slots and stuff back because I don't think we did from the last time we played. Nope. Hey, Daphne. Yeah? Wish in one hand. Shit the other. Tell me which one fills up first. <laughs> uh, Zidar, final thoughts. Uh, it was fun. I'm glad I didn't trigger the rug because that would have sucked as a rogue to trigger us. That, that was the D12. So. <laughs> so, but uh, but yeah, no, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Uh, it sucks being a rogue when you go against skeletons because everything you have is slashing. You know, yep. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to invest in a bludgeoning weapon. So. Or find one. Or and find one. And or find one. Oh, and Camille. Mm. I appreciated. Uh, well, I guess she's not Linus. Tigress. Tigress. Yeah. <laughs> the red shirt. That's right. How she has uh, benefited the party. I hope she continues to benefit the party. Till she dies. Ah, oh, no, don't, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Until she maybe dies. I don't no. Know. I want to Folks, take her back been, to her dad. This has been Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the Cacophony Edition. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy cool stuff like this, uh, buy it at our shop. Uh, don't forget, we have an audio only. So if you don't want to look at this money maker, uh, tinyurl.com mhobo inc audio for uh, your audio needs for when you travel. It's on Podbean. Uh, thanks, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that eh, made people pay a little bit tonight. And of course, Oddfish Games. These guys didn't <laughs> stink it up. But if they did, I could have whipped out my. Adventure sense and made everything nice. smell a whole lot better. Uh, I didn't write this with a shine system because I'm experienced, but if you aren't experienced, try their shine system. And of course, if you uh, enjoy culinary delights, uh, try cooking with dice. Uh, I want to uh, try that. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle's a big fan. So, uh, with that being said, don't forget to join us on Saturday for a one shot. Uh, the cast has been determined, so no more entries, no more entries. Just kidding. You have until noon on Friday. Right, Carol. So if you, yeah, we, we're going to bounce Carol if she's listening. <laughs> uh, so if you want to get in on a one shot, 8 p.m. on Saturday, you have until noon to hit us up. New players and uh, forever DMs, always welcome. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., Thank you for watching. I uh, hope to see you again real soon. Everybody wave and blow them. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Um, oh. <laughs> muting you. And you're done.